So today I'm giving you three flexibility exercises for your hamstrings that are gonna help you see a quick increase without passive stretching. Now, make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel because I have lots of free tips for you guys that are easy to do and see quick results with your dancing and your flexibility. Now, the first thing that I want you to do is reach down and touch your toes. Go ahead and just test that out. See how far you can reach. It doesn't matter if you're here. It doesn't matter if you're all the way down to the floor. Just notice how your hamstrings feel and where you are in your legs. Now, this is gonna seem crazy, but go with me. You're gonna make your fists. You're gonna put them between your knees in a comfortable position, and you're gonna squeeze your fists as hard as you can. I want you to squeeze them as possibly hard as you can for 30 seconds. I am squeezing and creating a shake in my body with how hard I'm squeezing. I'm squeezing so hard my inner thighs are on fire, my whole legs are on fire, my upper body is on fire because I'm working so hard to squeeze. And I'm gonna keep squeezing even though you're thinking, Allie, what the heck does this have to do with flexibility? You're squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. We're gonna go for five more seconds. Keep squeezing. Five, four, three, two, last squeeze. Stand up tall. Now go ahead and just reach down and touch your toes. Did you go farther? I bet you did. Now, the next thing that I want you to do is you're gonna lay down flat on your back. We're gonna put one leg up into the air and you're gonna feel right where it is in space. Is If it's down here, that's fine. If it's up here, that's fine, no problem. We're gonna find a spot and I want you to super flex your foot. Not a demi point flex, a full flex. With that full flex, you're gonna look up and look at your belly button. Then I'm gonna point my toe and I'm gonna look back all the way to the back side of the wall, not the ceiling. See how I'm on the top of my head? That's what we're going for. Now we're gonna oscillate between these two. I flex and look at my belly. I point and look at the back. Flex with up, point and back. And we're gonna do this for about 15 to 20 times. As I'm going, make sure that you're super flexing your foot, that I really truly find a flex in the foot and I don't get this weird demi point thing. As you're going, you might feel a little bit of work in your neck. That's totally fine. See if you can use your abdominals just a little bit more. Super flex the foot. After you've done this about 15 or 20 times, you're gonna lower your foot and immediately put it back up. And I want you to notice how the hamstring feels. Does it feel less? Does your leg feel like it can go a little bit farther? These are things that are super easy to see these results when we are looking at a more neurological side instead of trying to hold a stretch and change the muscle length. We actually don't change the muscle length very much when we talk about changing flexibility. So flexible alley versus non-flexible alley has the same length muscle. All we're doing is playing with the brain a little bit to tell our body when we're moving in a safe range of motion. So our next one that we're gonna do is facing a wall. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna put my feet flat on the wall. Now, no matter what your flexibility is, is with your hamstrings, whether your knees are bent or your legs are straight, you're gonna find that spot with your feet flat. I'm gonna slouch just a little bit and I'm gonna lower my head down towards my, or my chin down towards my belly button. And then I'm gonna look up towards the ceiling. Lower my head down and look up. And I'm just gonna go back and forth between these. And as you're going, I want you to notice that when you look down, you feel a little stretch. When you look up, you feel nothing. Down a little stretch, up you feel nothing. Do this about 15 or 20 times. And when you stand up, tell me how your hamstrings feel. So there's really easy ways to change our flexibility that have nothing to do with stretching and pulling and holding things down on top of us and teachers pulling our legs. These are three really simple examples. If one of these worked for you, if you felt like, wow, my hamstrings feel a little bit less tight or you saw a drop in your range of motion, it, these are things that can work for you. And I have some courses online for dancers just like you that these exercises worked. You can find them at alignfitnessbyally.com. Make sure you subscribe to get other free tips and I'll see you on the channel.